Hey guys, how's it going? As you can see, I'm back in my room at university. I decided to come back home after celebrating New Year's with my family. I really had some lab work to do, so I just drove back up to uni. Had a bit of a crisis yesterday where the washing machine stopped working, but that was all sorted quite quickly because Jesus College have quite a good maintenance system. So whatever goes wrong, whether it's the toaster, the microwave, or the um, washing machine, you go online, uh, you fill in a maintenance request, then someone super helpful from the maintenance team comes, quickly takes a look at it, and the washing machine was fixed this morning. So crisis averted and I can get my washing done. So since I was here yesterday as well, I spent the whole day in the lab. Um, I got some pretty good results, so I'm really happy with that. Now I need to sort of process them, have to design another experiment. It's quite complicated though, because I might need some high-tech machinery, which the engineering department may not have, or they might have somewhere, but I need to work out where it is in the department to go and use it. Um, and then also I need to heat up steel to like 700 degrees Celsius. And I don't know where I can find a, an oven to do that. So I need to get access to those things so I can crack on with my experiment. But other than that, I need to go to the engineering department later today. Because only the computers there have this specialist software package called CCSM. So CCSM is a composite modeling software. So composites are things like glass fiber, carbon fiber, um, Kevlar. And for some of the coursework that I need to do, I need to use this CCSM package. I did spend some time over the Christmas vacation looking at it, but I want to quickly crack on with that. It shouldn't take more than a few hours, so I'm going to go today, make sure that's all okay. I also need to go to Argos. My alarm clock broke, so I need to go and get a new alarm clock. Because checking the time, I hate looking at my phone or my computer all the time for it. Yeah, so quickly, I'm gonna run down, put my washing in, I'll put a coat on, go to Argos, then head to the engineering department. Then I think I'll spend the evening in the library. I also went to the gym yesterday, so I doubt I'll go today. And I also just realized I'm wearing a red top and red trousers, so I might also go and change my top, otherwise it looks a bit too disorganized. Right, all packed, let's go down to the kitchen, then let's go. Right, all done in there. I need to go to Ryman's quickly to get some more flashcards as well. So I finished up in the DPO, updated the protocol for my project experiment. So I'm going to go down to the lab um, and see if it works. Getting closer to where it should be. Yep. Lab lights are turned off, so I'm going to be the only one in there. Right guys, so I've done the lab. Um, I thought I'd fix the problem that I had earlier and um, came into the lab. I've now got the opposite of what I wanted to get. Achieving this balance may be close to impossible because I'm literally working by adjusting micrograms. The solution will be not achieving that perfect balance but getting as close to the sweet spot as I can get. Anyway, right, you need to go back, have something to eat I'm going to go to the library. Uh, I need to fill in those flashcards that I bought earlier. Anyway, let's go back to college and we'll get it all sorted.
I don't really want anything heavy for dinner, so I think I'll make some avocado toast or something. Especially since I'm revising. If I eat too much, I'll probably fall asleep. So for the spread, I need some avocados, some tomatoes, some onions, pepper salt. Um, I think I'll use a food processor to make it all much faster. So we're in the library now, going to start working, and um, yeah, we'll get uh, two, three hours done now. Right guys, so I'm done. I'm now going to head back to my room. Seems like the library is completely empty. Which is not a surprise given that it's not term time yet. Luckily my room isn't too far away from the library. So even though it's cold, it only lasts a few minutes. So we're now walking through library court. So all this accommodation here is for first years. It's called library court because the library's over there. Back of chapel court over there. And there's the car park, right park over there. Yeah, it's quite nice that college um, gave me a parking permit. Obviously it costs money, but it means I can get training much easier. And given that polo is the only sport I play at the moment, um, it's super important that I can park my car in Cambridge. Because otherwise, without a parking permit, you're not actually allowed a car. And it makes sense because if everyone brought their cars, then Cambridge would be super congested. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm going to go to bed now, so I'll catch you guys soon in the next vlog.